Hola amigos, bien o no, mis saludos desde Medellín. Hoy es el 6 de junio. ¿Y por qué este día tiene una significancia? Bueno, um, well, especialmente porque en Europa, hoy, el 6 de junio, es exactamente 80 años después, un evento muy importante en la historia de Europa y también parte en el Guerra Mundial II. So, hoy, 80 años antes, fue el día que dice D-Day. Es, es parte con la invasión con las tropas americano, inglés, canadiense, francés, otros, para volver a Francia para terminar el parte con la guerra contra los uh, regímenes nazi de Alemania, eh, Adolf Hitler. Y yo quiero hoy compartir un, una oración muy famoso con el general Eisenhower en este tiempo va del um, comandante con las tropas aliados y esa es el um, oración que la leer con todos los soldados americanos um, ingles y los otros para en efecto para decir buena suerte y coraje por la batalla. Y también una con estos soldados fue mi tío, Harry. Él va una con el, con el regimiento inglés especial. He was in the commandos. So Harry was one of the many um, tens of thousands of gentlemen who joined up and uh, went there today. So, we're going to share the speech with you. So today, I'm going to read you Eisenhower's speech that he gave to all the troops just before the D-Day landings, this day, 6th of June, 80 years ago. Um, and as I said, one of those soldiers happened to be my Uncle Harry, who at the time was a very young um, member of the Royal Marines Commandos. So anyway, here is Eisenhower's speech, which he gave to uh, encourage the troops just before their landing. Supreme Headquarters, Allied Expeditionary Force. Soldiers, sailors and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force. You're about to embark upon the Great Crusade, toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. In company with our brave allies and brothers in arms on other fronts, you will bring about the destruction of the German war machine, the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe, and security for ourselves in a free world. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well trained, well equipped and battle hardened. He will fight savagely. But this is the year 1944. Much has happened since the Nazi triumphs of 1940 and 41. The United Nations have inflicted upon the Germans great defeats in open battle, man to man. Our air offensive has seriously reduced their strength in the air and their capacity to wage war on the ground. Our home fronts have given us an overwhelming superiority in weapons and munitions of war and placed at our disposal great reserves of trained fighting men. The tide has turned. The free men of the world are marching together to victory. I have full confidence in your courage, devotion to to duty and skill in battle. We will accept nothing less than full victory. Good luck and let us all beseech the blessing of Almighty God upon this great 
and noble undertaking. And signed Dwight D. Eisenhower, who was the commanding general at the time. So there we go. A speech from 80 years ago. And uh, thanks really to the efforts of these gentlemen at that time. Well, this uh, Englishman particularly is here now. So uh, thanks to them all. And uh, God rest my Uncle Harry. Cheerio for now.